Hey, I'm Tony, and we're gonna continue with the custom kitchen island build. This part will be about the cabinets. So I wanted to show you the cabinets that we bought, and I wanted to kind of give you a little bit more information on what you can do, how you can build them, how you can substitute building cabinets for pre-made cabinets, and just that it's super easy to do it this way. This is a, a no frills set of cab base cabinets from Lowe's. So you see there's many different options here at Lowe's to choose from. You can get individual cabinets. You can get the big 60 inch I just showed you that's all put together, all one unit. Or you can get the individual ones and make them into whatever you need to make them. Uh, it's a pretty good option for any of that. But just keep in mind, these cabinets are very easy to put together. And I'll show you the, the fronts of them here in just a minute. I'll show you how I attached them to the, to the frame itself. So what we've got here is this is gonna be a 24 inch cabinet. This is an 18 inch cabinet and an 18 inch cabinet. I mean, an 18 across the front, 18 across the front, 24 across the front, they're 24 inches deep. You know how that goes, typical cabinet depth, typical, typical cabinets. These are just the unfinished oak basic cabinets from Lowe's. We went with three individual cabinets and as you can see, you have to make sure you have them flush across the front when you do all the work that I show you in the video and also in the free plans. So these are 60 inches of continuous cabinets and we went with these 60 inch, these different setups here because we want individual, want individual usage. We wanted to be able to use the cabinets individually without them crossing over into other areas. So that's what we did. So Lowe's sells a 60 inch continuous cabinet, meaning that it's open from here all the way to here. It's kind of like you'd find underneath your sink maybe, but it's super easy to put in. If you do the 60 inch continuous cabinet and build the frame that I show you how to build here and the frame that you can get in the free downloadable PDF, I'll link that in the description also. You can put this together. I mean, literally, the frame itself takes no time to build. And then you can put the cabinets in there. You're building the frame around the cabinets. It's like a, it makes it even easier than what I've done here. So keep it in mind, if you want a one continuous cabinet, they also sell a double cabinet like this right here that's these two together. So if you've got the anything that's continuous versus separate cabinets, you're going to have so much ease, so much more ease of, of putting together. So keep that in mind. So where the cabinet meets underneath this, obviously, where the cabinet meets your frame, there's a piece of blocking in there. And I just screw up high on the cabinet, screw it into the, into the block in there. And then in between each cabinet, again, you're not going to be able to see it because I've got drawers and everything in there. It's really hard to see in there anyway. But in between each cabinet where mine meet, I just screw them together and they, the screws don't go through or anything. You, you'll never touch the screws. You'll never see the screws. But I have it screwed together. So don't be intimidated by, you know, three individual cabinets. The 60 inch cabinet or the continuous cabinet makes this build so much more easier. And it's really, really easy. There's no reason you're not building this. There's no reason you're not building this. You're thinking budget, oh my budget, my budget, my budget. I'm telling you, this is probably the most affordable way to put an island in your kitchen that looks customizable, that looks really high end for what it is. Um, the next best thing to go to is actually putting in, you know, really high end cabinets or building custom laid out island cabinets, which is something you can do. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've done it myself on certain things but you just it, it entails a lot more work. So you're gonna build a custom island here with base cabinets from Lowe's. You're gonna build that and I'm telling you, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna absolutely be amazing. So make sure you go and check out the free download. Make sure you look at how this is laid out and then just pick the base cabinets. Pick the base cabinets first. Download the free download, pick the base cabinets first, then build what I give you in that free download. Build it around those base cabinets. It, it's the same thing. You just, a few measurements, lay it out, cut to fit. You don't even have to really plan anything except for how big you want the finished product and that's so easy to do. So please, 
please, I'm begging you, make sure you do it. Quit looking anywhere else for, for videos on how to make cabinets. Use this video. Use the other videos I have. I'm going to keep going with these videos. I'm going to beat you up with these custom videos, these custom kitchen island build videos, because I'm telling you, this is probably the easiest way you can have a kitchen island for the most affordable price without contacting a custom builder. I mean, again, I know that the top on this thing is where we spent most of our money. In lumber and cabinets, we got 600 bucks. 600 bucks. You can put a Formica top on there until you can figure out what you want to do with your final top. So, and if we went with granite, we probably would have got this top even cheaper. We went with the quartzite. It's a little bit more expensive what we chose, the color layout we chose, but I'm telling you, you can even find it cheaper than that. Make sure you get that free download and thanks for watching.